Hello, my name is Ruth from the Yo-Yo Project and I work with people who have experienced a loss of someone very special in their life who has died and I wanted to talk to you today about some things that you could do at home when you're feeling particularly sad because of this very difficult situation we're in um, following the coronavirus and that is particularly difficult for people that have already experienced a loss of a loved one through them dying. So I was thinking about things that you could do um, at home. You could draw paint your emotions and do some colouring. You could do some sort of finger painting as well or hand printing. You could also create an emotions wheel which I've got an example of here which has lots of different emotions on and can be really helpful in trying to help you to get out your feelings. You could keep a journal with fun picture thing and that focus on your, your feelings but you can make it fun by using cartoons uh, or you could write, write a story with pictures and make a film with your family. You could also do what's called an emotions heart where you can kind of split up the heart into different pieces of things that you really love and you can do it in lots of different ways but this is just an example. You could design a postcard and write a letter to someone that you really love, a friend or a family and maybe they might write a letter back too which is always nice to get. You can practice some yoga, there are lots of really good online yoga teachers that do great things for kids. You could also do wheelies on your bike outside and practice how many you can do. You could start doing some skipping in your back garden and count how many skips you could do. Um, or you could do a digital or paper collage. It will also be nice to listen to some music that you really really like and then do a painting or a drawing after that um, and see what you think about it. It could be really, really nice to be outside and be use some chalk and, and write the sad and painful feelings in chalk and then wash them away and see them disappear to signify them going away. Making Play-Doh can be really, really fun and you can use the, the Play-Doh and make some sort of creative figures and sculptures. But if you prefer clay or, or plasticine, you can use that and do some sculpturing using those sorts of things. Um, beading can be a really nice thing to do. If you've got beads at home, you can make bracelets for people that in your family or to signify the person that has died and use beads to write their name on there. Um, and you can also do some things outside in the garden as I am today and do some little bit of gardening or something really good to do is to make a little fairy garden got an example of one here today and to do that out and about and outside. So these are just some examples of some things that you can do and I hope that there's one on my list that perhaps you could do today that will make you feel a little bit happier and a bit a little bit less anxious or sad. Um, that's all for now. Bye!